Hey, right, welcome back, gang. Episode 12 of Boris the Breton. Score Rubiska here with Boris. Hey, Lydia. Hey, Lydia. Well, we just finished uh, talking to the Greybeards up at High Hrothgar. When we came down, we got attacked by these stupid cultists. I'm not sure I actually read the uh, note, though. One of them had, uh, yeah. Board the vessel Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Boris before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Well. Not going to do that right now. I'm pretty well uh, maxed out in my inventory. So we're actually going to uh, head back to Whiterun and uh, unload some stuff and then we'll see what happens after that. Let's check the time, see if the stores are open yet. 8.30, perfect. So I've got some things to sell and I've got to do a little bit of enchanting and maybe make some potions so that I'll try and edit through as much of this as possible. I know it can get a little boring to watch. Well, you know what? I almost forgot. I have something for you, Lydia. Yes, my thing? It's not the jewelry. Yeah. It would be my pleasure. I've got something for you. The boots and the shield. Okay, and while we're at it, I'll take that back. And those. Okay. I will protect you with my life. All right. I uh, made a couple of tweaks to the mod settings. I set climates of Tamriel for the default night darkness and uh, EL effects I changed to, it, it's not supposed to make the interiors as dark. So this this might give us some indication right here. Yeah, this does look brighter in here. So you still get a glow from the fires, which is which is nice, and you get the smoke coming up off the candles, which is a really cool effect. Uh, but if you look, you can see the whole building's lit up everywhere. One of the reasons I did not want to disable EL effects is because you'll actually have light coming in from the windows. That's not there in a the default game. It's the EL effects that adds that, and as it gets, as it gets later in the day and it gets darker, this the light coming in here will go away. It's a really cool effect. But right now, I've got to do some enchanting. <clears throat> Divine smile on you, friend. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. You take care of yourself now. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire Eric menace. menace. What do you say? Lucky to have you watching over us. Vampire menace. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about. I ran into some of them the other day. Um, but what is the uh, Dawn Guard? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. Cool. You know what? I think this uh, this sounds kind of fun. Ha! Where do I sign up? Ha! Isran's going to like you. Go talk to <laughs> him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. 
You'll decide if you're Don Guard material. Good enough. Lydia! Lydia, wake up! Lydia! <laughs> you must get a nap more. This is Anise's cabin. The witch lived here named Anise. Wolfie and I had to take her out. What's that boy? Timmy's stuck in the well. Oh, maybe not. Yes, the witch named Anise lived here. And Wolfie and I had to take her out. Do you know she has a brother? He's a wizard. It's true. His name is a nephew. <laughs> hey, did you did you know Wolfie here? Wolfie here is afraid of, of bunny rabbits. Did you know that? It is. Watch this. Hey, Wolfie! Look! A bunny rabbit! Look! <laughs> Told you. Okay, come on. Let's get going. You know, we came by here uh, after escaping Helgen, and I mentioned this door. I said we'll have to investigate it. Oh, what the hell is Lydia? She gets stuck trying to cross her. There she comes, trucking along. Um, I uh, this is a this is actually a house mod that I'm making. As you can see, it's called Ruby's Lakeside Cabin, and it is a log cabin. I don't have it set up that my follower is going to follow me, and there's a marker I have to put in here. But the outside building, we don't really need, because it's just uh, a shell there for looks. The door will teleport us to the interior. Ha, this is the inside of the house. And hopefully Lydia will still be there when we come back out. But this is the log cabin I'm building. This is going to be the kitchen and dining area. I'll probably put a bar in there because, you know, Boris, uh, he likes to imbibe a little too much sometimes. Just kidding. Maybe. Man, a couple animal heads out there, you know, like you would see in any, any cabin. This is going to be the library. There'll be a stair uh, door to a staircase here, which is going to go downstairs to a... I'm actually going to have a garage, believe it or not. Why have a garage when there's no cars? Well, there's carts and wagons. And then there's upstairs. These are going to be some spare bedrooms. I don't know what else to put here. And this is going to be the Dragonborn's private suite. But as you can see, I don't have the roof on here yet, and ignore all the stuff floating around up there. Those are pieces and parts that uh, I was considering using, and I probably won't. But this is it so far. I tried making this staircase here. I actually made this one by hand. Not sure if I'm going to keep it. But, uh, yeah... I don't like this walkway being right in the middle of the of the room here, so I might see about making it uh, wrap around. Although that is kind of convenient. <laughs> I don't know; it's not done yet. Uh, I still have to do the outside. Yeah, all these logs here. This is not the building that's in the the creation kit is a program you get from Bethesda. Uh, everything that's in the game is in the creation kit, and you can, you know, pretty much make whatever you want. All those mods I was talking about were all made in the creation kit. Uh, climates of Tamriel and realistic water. Not all those mods were made with that. And this building is not in there. I, I made this by hand. I had to place every one of these logs by hand. So you can imagine it took a really long time. And I have to do the same thing again with the exterior, because this is only the interior cell. Because you could see outside there was nothing but a door, because there's no exterior cell yet. But hey, even though even old me can do some modding. Well, Lydia, it's late in the day. I don't want to head down to Fall Creek now. What do you say we uh, head over to the inn?
Okay, oh, I almost forgot. Read the books, read the books, read the books. Not that one. This one. Oh, damn it. Healing hands. A lightning bolt. And I forgot to sell that one. And now I got stone flesh. So. I'm gonna go. Da, 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 da. Unfavorite that. Favorite stone flesh now. And unfavorite that and favorite that. And I'll put stone flesh in the slot two. And lightning bolt in seven. So. There. Now, we've got 88 points of armor protection. Because we're getting... We're getting 28 from the gear and 60 from the flesh spell. The armor cap, I didn't mention that before. The highest armor rate you can get is 567. So it's not like uh, 88. <laughs> it's very good. But it's still early in the game, and it's 20 points higher than what we were getting before, and that's that, that'll be significant and helpful. Look at that. Is someone there? I think they are warning me. Hey, a treasure map. Cool. It's worth a few bucks. I'm gonna grab that longbow. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Uh, I'll get the helmet. That's it. Where's that other idiot? Look at him, that's an ugly pose. <laughs> Look at his hands. <laughs> he looks like he's praying. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Take that. What's in here? Anything else around here? A book. Ah, nice. And a deer. Let's see if he's got any antlers. Even though it has antlers on it, it doesn't mean, oh, but they are good. I'm gonna need those. They're also an alchemical ingredient, but you really have to do a lot of hunting to get anywhere with them. That must be one of the mercenaries. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. I guess if you talk to them, you can get... Uh, if they're on their way to go clear out something, you can talk them into letting you go do it. But, yeah, I got enough things on my plate now. Monk robes. Yeah. What in the world happened here? Ah, oh, Thalmor. Beggars. Oh, that'll be helpful.
Well, that gold's not doing anybody any good. These shrines are a good way to cure disease. Uh, the reason I made that potion in, uh, when we were at Shadowheart Barrow is I was pretty sure there wasn't a shrine anywhere nearby. And it's a pretty fun barrel to clear out anyway, so I figured, well, we'll head down there, we'll clear that out, and get rid of my disease. Yeah. So, uh, what the heck was I talking about? Um, here. Uh, oh, yeah, Ahmad's, uh, the immersion. Yeah, I mean, you've got, got Climates of Tamriel, Realistic Water, Enhanced lights, lights and Effects. Get over here. Gotcha. Any more? Yeah. Gotcha. So that's what a lot of the mods are I'm using. I'm not trying to uh, alter the game. <laughs> you know, that's something I don't remember, uh, I don't remember people and animals going flying like that, like before. Alright, take that. Oh, wow, something else going on. Rains it pours, huh? Yeah, I just don't remember things getting hit with destruction spells and going flying like they do. With the original Skyrim. So it's pretty hilarious, and I, I'm actually putting together a, a best of video. I, I, I was just running around as I was gearing up to start this let's play I was doing a lot of practicing and working on my editing skills and trying different software and hardware configurations and programs uh, we got to watch it stuff always spawns on the other side of this rock All kinds of weird things bad idea that's right Shout. Cold diamond necklace. Twelve hundred. Oh yeah. And I'm over encumbered again. How did I get over encumbered? Uh, over encumbered already. Lydia, I've got something yes, for game. you. It would be my pleasure. Mm, yeah. Lead on. Look at that. You look like quite the warrior. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's move on. I gotta be careful with that. I bought the next uh level destruction spell and uh it uses up my magic up pretty fast, so I gotta be careful about uh, firing that thing off. But yeah, I got an entire video that I'm putting together that's just uh, me running around conjuring a storm after knock and watching it blast stuff. Oh, uh, what was that? Don't be sorry, Lydia. The little fetcher had it coming. Come on. Well, that's how it's done. Oh, 
Oh, there's usually two of them around here. Ah. Well, the reason I wanted to come out here was twofold. One, it's a way to get the fall creek, and the other is uh, this is where I'm planning on building my house, since it is called Ruby's Lakeside Cabin. Ruby is the name of the character I was playing when I started building it. But, uh, I mean, look how scenic this is. Beautiful lake, got an old uh, fortress there in the distance, a little island. I'd do a little train modification here, put a little beach in uh but this is the area I'm thinking of putting, either right here where these rocks are, or maybe a little bit over here. But, uh, yeah, this would, be a, this would be a nice place for it. You have the sun set off in that direction, there. And you have the sunrise over there. There. Hey! Lydia! Hey! <laughs> it took maybe you were falling asleep again. Okay, let's uh let's continue on our way to Fall Creek. Did I buy? I, I see. I bought stone flesh. I bought healing hands so I can help out Lydia or whoever my follower might be at the time if needed. They regenerate health very quickly, so it's not essential. And I think it's a set up where they they can only actually be killed by the player. Uh, and then there's a few that actually can't be killed at all, even by the player. But uh, I mean, uh, enemies will beat them till they'll they'll go and take a knee but they can't they can't die if they're hit by uh, hit by enemies but you have to be careful especially if you're using uh, spells that are uh, what do you call them uh, area effect spells and sometimes when you're using a weapon like I whacked Lydia a couple times with that battle axe. You, you got to be careful with that because you can, uh, you know, you can, if I if I hit her when her health was really low, I could have killed her. And I actually did kill her a couple times with uh, with a shout. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. I mean, just kind of missed. Mountain flower, good stuff. Boy, this looks great. I mean, just the visuals here. It's just, it's a, it's a little bit hazy. Have been fought here over the centuries. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't even uh, cue that up yet. There we go. Mushrooms. Did you see a dog out there? No. Some wolves, but no dogs. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Okie doke. See the Yarl. Ready? Boy, it sure is a beautiful day, huh? Man, a far cry from that crap weather we were getting before. Excuse me. Good to see you. I got your letter. I am Boris, Dragonborn. Ah, it's you. 
Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Right. They think I can do that. Good. Hmm. Knife point of edge. And this is going to be fun. They tell me. How did you become a Jarl while so young? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the whole, I now serve as Jarl. I see. Does your inexperience make your job difficult? Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk, and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Maybe I will. Okay, I have things to do. We talk later. Farewell. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Hell Jarl on. Dengir before him. The guards are looking sloppy today. I want you to reduce their wages for the month. Sir. I will shape them up, but with the war on, it is unwise to reduce their wages any further. We can't afford to lose any men if we wish to keep Falkreath protected. I would think a man of your military training would be able to do with less. But, so be it. Hmm. All right, Lydia. We've got to go do something for the Jarl. Are you ready? It's going to be fun. Let's cue this up in the old journal here. Knife Point Ridge. I did not talk to the blacksmith about the dog. Because I didn't want to cue that quest just yet. Because he shows up right here. And I just didn't want to deal with him right now. We've got a mission ahead of us. The Yarl wants us to clear some bandits, and uh, we're going to go and do that so we can buy the property to build our house on. Now I'm talking about Lakeview Manor, not the log cabin. That my, my house mod, that log cabin, is probably going to take a, quite a while to finish. But Lakeview Manor, not so much. Although it's not going to be built right away because it takes a lot of lumber and a lot of iron and a lot of money. I need 5,000 gold just for the property. And then uh, the lumber's not cheap. Iron's not too expensive. Uh, but the, the lumber, then, well, you got, you got other things. You got it for the lights, you need goat horns. Uh, you'll need glass for the display cases and such. And, uh, uh-oh, what's going on up here? All right, take that. A potion, there's a satchel. Take those. Cool. Oh, 
Uh, what was I saying? Uh, glass, goat horns, you'll need straw. There's some wolves up there. I think I just saw some wolves. Where did you come from? What? Is there another one? Where you going? <laughs> I must have hit it hit that with the soul trap spell. <laughs> Alright, more antlers. <laughs> I can't believe that deer let her just run right up on him like that. Butterflies. Gotcha. Why oh, are we still having the combat music? Toes on bones. Jeez. Over here. <laughs> Forgetting to go back and change this one. Now ain't this. Need any spuds? Did you come down from there? Let me go check him for the, if he's got anything good. I mean, going to skip that for now. other ones then we gotta go inside and clear that out. Anybody down here? Warhammer. 
24 points of damage. That's a little more than what my steel battle axe is doing, but, uh... All right. Take that. These guys are, uh, they're awfully squishy. I mean, they went down fast. Not too much, Lydia. But we gotta go inside and, uh... We haven't got the, the boss man yet. Did I check you? But my new lightning spell is uh, pretty nice. Lydia from right there, I thought that was you. You okay? Well, I want that because I sold mine. I'll try and lighten my load a little bit, and yeah, it's definitely definitely lighter in this cave. Back up, please. Thank you. Hmm. What do we have in here? 30 points of magic of damage. Well, I like battle axes. I am almost maxed out again. Now I am over encumbered. But, I don't need that anymore. to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. You got that right. They took care of the leader of Night Point Ridge. Teach them to stop paying me. Damn right. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. They'll do that. Is there anything else you need, my arm? There is room in my court for a new Thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my Thane. Yeah. Consider it done. On your way, then. Until later, then. Ninja. I'm the steward here. 
I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. I know you told me that, but I would like to purchase a house. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Ha. Huh. Very good. I take it. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, okay. then north at the crossroads. Right. Turn left, just past Pine Watch. Got it. Good enough. Thank you. See you later. May wisdom forever light your path. What is everyone staring at? Is my fly open again? Lady, why didn't you tell me my fly was open? Come on, you look like a machine. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think I gotta wrap this one up. It's, uh, it's been getting pretty long. And I've got a lot of editing to do. And I got a new video up that just went online, so uh, anxious to see how that one looks on YouTube. So we'll call this one good. We've got our property now and uh, cleared out some bandits and uh, got Lydia some new gear. She's uh, looking like a, a dwarven automaton. <laughs> She's a wrecking machine. So uh, we'll go check out the new property uh, first thing tomorrow. What do you say, Lydia? She doesn't talk much. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. So long.